Aloha, everybody. On this episode, we're going to ditch the donut and talk about malasadas and everything you need to know about Leonard's Bakery on Oahu. <laughs> Leonard's Bakery is just a short drive from downtown Waikiki. And here's what a malasada is. It's basically a donut without a hole, and it can be covered with sugar or cinnamon and can either be filled or unfilled. A must try while you're on the island. Leonard's Bakery in Oahu, right outside of Waikiki, <laughs> is one of my favorite bakeries. And why is it one of my favorite bakeries? Is because they're delicious malasadas. They've been an icon on Oahu since 1952 and their malasadas are famous. So here we are driving by Leonard's on our first attempt. We got here just a little bit too late this day and you can see the line was already crazy. So getting your malasadas at Leonard's can be a feat in itself because it's so popular that the line sometimes actually wraps around the building. Yes, they're that popular. But we're gonna give you a tip on how you can get yours quicker than the rest. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is 5.30 in the morning and we missed Leonard's yesterday because the line was just way too big. So everyone's still asleep. I thought Brooke was coming with me, but she's uh, still sleeping as well. So we're gonna head down to Leonard's bright and early and see if we can get some of those famous malasadas before the line gets too long later in the morning. Just walk past a guy with Leonard's he beat me to it, but he had the same idea this morning. We, all right, we made it to Leonard's. There's a small parking lot. The other day, the line was all the way around the corner. I think there's a line up front. I parked down the street here because the parking lot was small, but here we go. So here we are. We made it to Leonard's just as the sun is starting to rise. Leonard's is open every day from 5.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'm here just after 5.30 and there's already people in line. Although I'm feeling pretty lucky because there's hardly anybody inside. So let's go order our malasadas. As you walk in, you'll see some drinks and local juices that you can buy. Also, maybe some cupcakes and other pastries. However, all the malasadas are made to order, so you won't see them on display. Now let's check out the menu a little bit closer. You can buy a malasada by itself, or you can buy them by the half or dozen. We recommend getting a dozen for a family of four and trying all the different flavors. It was hard to believe that I was the only one in there at the end when I was ordering, but, but she said the line gets busy around 7.30, 8 a.m. So we beat the morning rush, and now we wait outside by the window for our malasadas, which uh, they make to order. So I got my ticket. Oh, 39. 39, yep. thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, mission accomplished. We got our malasadas. So there's the trick. Just get here right and early. The early bird gets the worm or the malasadas. We got here at 6 o'clock, and there was no line. You get here at 7.30 or 8, the line's going to be down the street. All right, let's head back to the hotel and try these out while they're still warm. The malasadas always come in Leonard's iconic pink box, and like I mentioned, we got several different flavors what we've got from leonard's we got half a dozen original which are just sugar coated we got two macadamia nut fillings two halpia fillings and two guava fillings and yes there may be one or two missing because i could wait and i had to eat them when they were warm but i'm gonna try now a guava filled one no better breakfast than a little koi juice and a malasada from Leonard's here in Hawaii. Mm. What does it taste like, that one? This one's guava. Sweet guava. Oh, guava. The hot pio one, what did that taste like? Just a, a cream custard. Okay. Yummy. And um, here's our view. Little. Overcast today, but that's gonna clear up. And there's our little friend right here that's been stalking Matt. It's his name is Leonard. <laughs> Leonard the pigeon. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this episode. If you've ever had a malasada at Leonard's or anywhere else, please let us know what your favorite flavor is. My favorite flavor is honestly the original. 
with sugar and unfilled. So mm. if you've got one that you yeah, let us like know. Them, I think mine is, oh, it's so hard, but I think I like the coconut filled ones. They're so good. Yeah, and in Hawaii, that's called hapia, the coconut cream filled malasada. So you definitely gotta try that. Yeah, super good. All right, stay tuned for more American, American Travel, Travel Family, Family Adventures. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, what's your favorite malasada? If it has ever been filled to, I wanna know. <laughs> and oh, yeah, say Zuzu, hi to Zuzu. Right? Zuzu. <laughs> she just got a, a cut. She was a little bit, yeah. She um, likes all malasadas. Every one of them. <laughs> Bye, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family Adventures. One. Hey. hey <laughs> all right, three, two, one. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to this episode. This part. All right.